This has been Mystic European Cemetery in the southeast of Casablanca. There are French, Commonwealth and German military burials here. There are no Americans, though there is a memorial to the Western Task Force who landed in November 1942 at the spot where some were temporarily buried. American practice has been to repatriate and consolidate, so all the 2,841 war dead who remain in North Africa are interred in Tunis. British Commonwealth practice conversely has been to inter people as close as possible to where they died, so their war graves tend to be clustered in smaller groups. As Morocco was never a major theatre for the Commonwealth, there are 38 here. There are 224 Germans from World War II and 120 from World War I, consolidated from 20 different places all over Morocco. The World War II deaths are almost all here, with dates ranging from 1942 to 1948, because they were prisoner of war deaths. The largest sections are for the French, consolidating the dead from the 51-year protectorate. The 38 Commonwealth war graves are as follows. October 1940. Hans Karl Volsgen Nielsen Chief Steward of the Danish SS Stora Stora had been requisitioned by the Ministry of War Transport when Denmark was invaded and was in Casablanca at the fall of France. So his death would have been whilst the crew was interned. After an eventful career, Stora herself was eventually sunk in the channel by German e-boats in 1943 with the loss of 22 of her 36 crew. Josiah Morgan October 1941. Able seaman aboard HMS Fleur de Lys. Her magazines exploded after being hit by a torpedo from U-206 off Gibraltar. Of the 73 aboard, only three survived. He is the only one of that 70 whose body was recovered. Thomas Curry, Edwin Bowery, Alexander McCready, Kenneth Rawson. Crew of a 233 squadron Lockheed Hudson. Serial number V8985, on patrol from Gibraltar. Failed to return from a mission near Casablanca on the 8th of November 1942, the first day of torch. Edward Baldry, January 1943. French-Canadian war correspondent and writer. Killed when the plane taking him to report on the Casablanca conference was shot down. April 1943. Two members of the catapult aircraft merchant ship Empire Morn. She hit a German mine whilst travelling between Casablanca and Gibraltar with the loss of 21 of her crew. The two bodies recovered are those of John Gardner and galley boy Raymond Steed. At 14 years, 207 days, he is the second youngest member of the British forces to die in World War II. Steed is buried next to Field Marshal Claude Auchinleck, Commander-in-Chief Middle East for just over a year in the middle of the war and the last Commander-in-Chief India. His is not a war grave as he survived until he was 96, living the last years of his life in Marrakesh. May 1943. Three of the four crew of Bristol Beaufort DW992, which crashed after running out of fuel on a ferry mission. George Quayle and George Grant both died instantly. George Owen survived another three months before dying in hospital. The fourth crew member, David Baker, died a few days after the crash in Fez, but is buried in Algeria. At the end of the same month, Roy Cornelius of 48 Squadron. His Hudson was on an air sea rescue mission west of Gibraltar when it hit the water. It has been suggested that in focusing on the dinghy they were attempting to assist that he lost situational awareness. Two other crew members died, one survived. Cornelius is the only body recovered. July 1943. William Elric, Thomas Feeney, Albert French. Three crew members from the troop ship SS Duchess of York. Attacked by Fork Wolf 200s out of Bordeaux Merignac off Portugal en route to West Africa and set ablaze with the loss of 27 crew total before being scuttled by the RN. Also Oswald Grimstone, Royal Air Force Volunteer Reserve, passenger in the same convoy. August 1943. Edward Jarrett, Erwin Clark, Gordon Rolls, Richard Carter. Crew of a Halifax of 295 Squadron who were taking off on a mission to ferry a glider to a forward base. After an engine caught fire, they classed off the glider but were unable to make a safe landing. Two of the crew survived. January 1944. Ray Garnham, another Hudson from 48 Squadron out of Gibraltar, failed to return from their mission. 
Garnham's body washed ashore near Fadala. The other three crew members remain missing. February 1944. Alfred Burnett, South African of 28 Squadron, died of pneumonia. John Owen, listed as HMS President III, which was a stone frigate handling gun crews for defensively equipped merchant ships. I do not know the circumstances of his death, but I do not see any Allied merchant ships sunk in the area around that date. Ronald Kent, 145, 145 maintenance unit, off-duty swimming accident. July 1944, three members of the African Pioneer Corps of West Africa, Yusefu Giato, Tafa Oredola, Duowade Akani. Not been able to find anything out about them, nor for Corporal Peterson of the Cape Corps, South Africa, who died later that month. August 1944, Leslie White, Henry Lamy, Lawrence Thompson, Ian Graham, Gordon Taylor. Douglas Dakota FL-568 crashed into the Atlas Mountains. Two civilians also killed. September 1944, Robert Meldrum, also of 145 Maintenance Unit, killed when the aircraft tyre he was working on exploded. November 1944, Leo Hardeman. His Spitfire's engine caught fire during a test flight. His parachute failed to open. February 1945, Pieter Crispin, Dutch Merchant Marine, died of disease. March 1945, Charles Toothill. He was a company quartermaster sergeant in the 2nd Battalion Lancashire Fusiliers, which at that time is fighting in Italy, being unable to find out the circumstances of his death.